today I'll be showing you how to engrave anything you want. This is very cool and it comes out very professional, which I love. That's adds a cool twist to anything that you're making, your projects, or if you just want to engrave something that you have, it just is pretty cool to do. And you can just add your name. So I put no brakes on brass knuckles and it turned out really cool. I love the way it turned out. Very easy to do too. Uh, all you need is a battery charger, some vinegar, and cotton swabs and you can get a very professional look. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I'll show you how to do it here in a second and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the things you need for this is a battery charger or battery cotton swabs, and a vinegar salt solution. And then go ahead and prep your surface, you know, clean the surface off so the stickers stick. Go ahead and go down to the dollar store, grab yourself some dollar store stickers, like the little letters, and just go ahead and stick them on. Just go ahead and put whatever you want on there. And if you want a symbol or something, go ahead and buy a symbol, like a star or something, and put that on there too, you know, just to spice it up a little bit. Uh, and then go ahead and use nail polish. I use clear nail polish because that's just what I had. Uh, and paint over it after the nail polish is dry. Wait for it to dry because uh, the first one I didn't wait for it to dry, you know, and just ended up ripping off, and then everything was destroyed. It's kind of a mess. So, wait for the nail polish to dry, and then go ahead and scratch the stickers off using an X Acto knife. And then you should be able to see the outline, and you can go ahead and make adjustments to what you want uh, there, what you don't. Like, if some of the nail polish leaked in under the sticker, you can just go ahead and cut it out. And then go ahead and attach your positive terminal to whatever you're etching. And then grab your negative terminal, dip a cotton swab in the vinegar, go ahead and, and use the negative clamp and clamp it to the cotton swab, and go ahead and start tracing what you want to etch. And that's basically it. I'm just going to go ahead and finish that up, and then I should get my cool etched project. Yeah, all the brass knuckles definitely turned out the best. I mean, it's pretty cool. You know, I just engraved my name into it. Uh, and that's basically it. 